When you're ready to go from basic chatbots to AI that helps you get real work done, that's when you need an AI agent. You can now build AI agents, connect them to tools, and watch them work all right inside of Retool. Let's take a look at how that works. From the Agents tab in your Retool dashboard, click on the New Agent button. You'll see a few different choices of templates to choose from, but let's start from scratch. We can then pick an icon and a color for our agent, give it a name, and a short description to tell people what it does. This brings us to the configuration screen for our agent. You'll notice the config assistant sidebar is expanded. If we already know what we want our agent to do, we can ask the config assistant for help building on our agent. Let's accept these suggestions and close the config assistant. Now we can configure our agent manually. First, we can choose how we want our agent to be triggered. The default is for the agent to operate via chat, but you can set up your agent with a unique email address and trigger it by sending an email as well. You can also trigger your agents from retail apps, workflows, or even from other agents but let's stick with chat for now. Next is our instructions. This is where we can prompt our agent and give it information about how we expect it to work, what tools it has access to, and what type of responses we expect it to give. For more information on how to prompt your agents, you can take a look at our agent prompting guide documentation. One important thing is to note that you can also pass dynamic information into your prompt. For example, if we wanted our agent to know the current date, we could use retools double curly brace syntax and pass the date into our prompt. Once we feel good about our prompt, we can choose the model which will power our agent. For now, we'll stick with Cloud 3.7. Clicking into Advanced Settings exposes the controls for temperature, which work the same way as you might be used to with a large language model, as well as Max Iterations, which controls how many times your agent can run through the reasoning and action loop before stopping. We'll cover tools and how to configure them in a future video, but for now, let's take a look at the chat interface in one of our sample agents. This agent is an executive assistant that can access Google Calendar to find open meeting times, Google Docs to set meeting agendas, and Asana to automatically assign follow-up items. When we post in the chat and ask our agent to set up a meeting, we can see the agent loop in action. Our agent first thinks about what it should do. Then we can see it choosing the calendar tool to look at gaps in our meeting attendees' calendars. After it has that information, it thinks about the next step in the process. You can get more detail about any of the pieces of the agent's thought process or any of the tools it used by clicking to expand that portion of the chat. In this case, we see that it decided to call our calendar tool with the correct email addresses and got this result. Your agent will ask any follow-up questions it has in the chat or let you know when it's completed the task. And just like that, you've configured your first AI agent in Retool. In a future video, we'll take a look at how to build and configure the tools your agent needs to do real work on your behalf. See you next time.